I pitched the idea to Kevin and to Pete because I knew that they also had a real interest in the city, but they also had some real skills. Uh, Pete knows a ton about the city. I've always been fascinated with, with uh, the past because when I was little, I used to think it was time travel. I could travel back in time to be where, you know, where, that, where those things happen. So that carried over into college and carried over to grad school. And Kevin has not only the background of education, but he's got the skills to do a lot of great storytelling. My job on campus in college was in the video department because I didn't want to work in the cafeteria. And uh, that got me hired as a high school teacher, uh, because not because of my English degree or where I went to college, but because I just happened to know how to operate the video equipment. And I thought the three of us combined, we would really make a great team to educate people and to really reveal what the city is all about. Detroit attracts me because it is 313 years old now. Uh, there are, it's one of the oldest settled communities in the country. Most of my background is in European history, but European history relates a lot to this city. This is one of the French founded cities in the nation. Uh, there's a lot here that ties us back to the old world. You know, St. Louis, New Orleans, Detroit, they're such old cities compared to most of the rest of the country, especially here in the middle of the country. I worked as an archivist at Henry Ford Museum at Benson Ford Research Center for 12 years, and it's through there that I really got an understanding of um, the value of archival material, because with the material in the collections, there are a lot of stories about Dearborn and Detroit and Ford that you know people just don't don't really appreciate or people think they know what the story is but when you really look at it there's something different it's not always what you think it is uh, I am an alumni here at Wayne State University this is where I learned to love the city of Detroit my aunt and uncle met at Wayne State and my aunt was uh, introduced my mother to my father. And if it wasn't for that and this university, neither Lily nor I would be here today. This is Michigan and Trumbull where I've got a thousand memories. My father had a thousand memories. He came to the 68 World Series here when I was just four. Um, we drove down hundreds of times and this is actually where I spent my last night with my father. And I learned a whole different aspect of the city and, and in my lifetime I've seen probably three waves of renaissance in a city and I think we've got one now that's actually got some legs to it and it's going to carry on. But all anybody ever knows about the, the, the city of Detroit is the 20th century. They know cars and they know Motown music, but there are 300 plus years of history here in the city that I think really needs to be known for us to gain some respect again within the nation and the world. There, there's a couple of areas I really, really want to do some focus on. The historic markers, because there's so much of Detroit that doesn't exist anymore, except in the form of, of historic markers. I've got a real uh, affinity for the Prohibition days, Purple Gang, my great uncle Harry Kelly was governor of uh, Michigan in World War II, but prior to that he made his bones, as they say, as a prosecutor of the Purple Gang, as well as uh, a lot of mobsters. Um, the Underground Railroad is a fantastic story. You know, Detroit was the end of the line for the Underground Railroad in the Midwest. Thousands of, of escaped slaves made their way to Canada. So that's a, that's a tremendous story. I'd like to explore what's left of the French influence. Is there anything left? I don't know. So I think it's grounds like this in Detroit for digging Detroit that's really nostalgic and important for Detroiters. And for me, that's really the hook of the show. It's, it's fascinating to me to see the, the depth of history and the fact that so very little of it is actually widely known. Our springboard episode with uh, doing Tommy's Bar was great because working with Krista and Tommy and Marion uh, was just so fun and uh, the, the response in a very short period of time, just a little over a week, having 1,200 views on YouTube and uh, having 
a lot of very positive feedback on Facebook and Twitter and kind of exploring how to do all this marketing without spending any money has been really a fun, fun experience. I too have something of a storytelling background. I want to use that in order to, again, improve the city and make sure that people understand what the city's all about. Uh, I've spent a lot of time in marketing, I've spent a lot of time in advertising. Uh, I think this is a great, great product to sell people and I don't think it's a tough one to sell. We thought, well, what if, why don't we make a bunch of little mini documentaries and, you know, who knows, maybe somebody will pick us up and we could be Antiques Roadshow or, or whatever. But I think more importantly, for me, it's just a, it's a great way to tell a story. And if we can get a lot of different organizations involved and let them tell their story, I think it should be great. That's, that's part of what digging is, is, you know, ask a question and see what you can find. I'm digging Detroit. Yeah.